Hey everyone, David C. Anderson from the Knife Center coming at you from SHOT Show 2023. We're here at the Beyond EDC booth with the long lost good friend of ours, David Sun. Hey Dave, how's oh, it going? It's real good, it's, it's real good it's to see you. It's been a long minute. It has, it's been a long it minute. Has. It's real good to see you. I'm real happy to be uh, be here uh, checking out your stuff. And it truly is your stuff, right? It this is, is your my brand. stuff. Beyond EDC, that is my brand. Excellent. Yep, I am now the... Uh, you know, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> We've always been somebody to oh, me. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Take us, take us through it. Uh, Absolutely. I've, I've seen a bit of the stuff we've had uh, in at the Knife Center, um, but there's a lot more here I haven't seen yet, so yeah. I'm excited. Let me just go through a little bit of what new stuff we're bringing to you, and some of the updates to the old stuff that we have brought in 2022. So let's start with some of the uh, later additions. This is the Ray by Dylan Mallory. It features a one-piece integral frame titanium. M390 blade, all serialized, with a carbon fiber insert in the front, and easy opening, and solid locking. Yeah. You will receive a, you will receive a, a certificate of authenticity signed by Dylan himself, our Texas script. So is this a limited edition then? Yeah, a limited or? edition, 200 pieces. 200 pieces. I like the stepped milling on the, the thumb You'll hole there. Gives give you, you a little A. Little extra, yep. yeah. Absolutely. Very cool, nice and smooth, solid of course. Very cool. All right. Our next. Um, and do we have pricing on any of this stuff yet? or? Uh, I do, and it will be uh, sent to you. I, this one will be about, uh, I believe this is about 320 MSRP. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, even if you just have uh, some estimates, that's cool. Yep. But if not, we will have uh, full pricing at the Knife Center when this stuff goes up, of course, also. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> Safe. <laughs> All right. This is an update to the chunk which was very popular in 2022. Mm -hmm. uh, what we decided to do in 2023 was we wanted to add something special uh, because the chunk has a lot of real estate on the handle. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. want to add a entropic anodizing to it. As you can see, it's a complete random pattern. Um, yeah, each it, one's going to be a yep. little bit different. Yep. So we added entropic anodizing to the front scale and to the clip. So you have something matching. This still opens really quick. It fills your hand really nicely and just give you a knife that's different from everybody else's mm -hmm. because it's a random pattern, so each knife will be different. Yeah. May I see? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, good feel. What's the steel ones? S35? S35 EN? Yeah. Yep. Man, that's such a broad blade with that full flight grind, and that's going to have some efficiency for sure. So to follow up on that, nice. this is the new chunk we're bringing out for 2023. It is the Macarta handle chunk with a 14C28 in blade with an ambidextrous high, uh, low riding clip. Mm -hmm. It's a liner lock versus a frame lock, mm -hmm. but it opens real quick. And one thing we added was instead of a thumb stud, we're giving you a thumb groove mm -hmm. to open. The groove has a rough bottom, so you can put your hand anywhere along the groove and make that knife open real quick. Mm -hmm. Me being an old timer, I prefer a controlled opening, so that's perfect for me. Right. And for <laughs> those of you who prefer the spider flick, you can also do that with that groove. Absolutely. There you go. And of course, with the uh, Sandvik steel here, price is going to be a little bit lower. Price will be lower. This will be about ninety dollars MSRP. Not too bad. Not too bad. Nice inset liner lock there. Flips great. Does all the other fidgety stuff great. Cool. So, follow nice up shape. is the brother to the chunk, the Contact Titanium S thirty five VN. It has a blue clip, so that will originally so that would remain unchanged. But we are adding, uh, you know, it will be a limited edition to the. In tropic anodizing on the front scale. Everything else remained the same. It is still a good thumb, um, thumb stud opening with a frame lock, and the uh, in tropic anodizing will add about forty dollars to the MSRP. Not chart. too bad, really. Yeah, yeah. it's all handmade. Uh, it will either be done in proper Texas or in Nashville, Tennessee. So, it is your, I guess, using a global, uh, using the globally local. Right. Labor. Globally local, I love it. <laughs> and just as with a, a chunk, we're adding a Macarta handled contact. This one has a low riding clip. As you can see, very low. Very low. It'll mm -hmm. be ambidextrous. Uh, this is a prototype, so it doesn't show, but production will be ambidextrous clip. Cool. Liner lock was 14C28M. Uh, this one's showing the flipper, so we're definitely making some changes to the mm -hmm. contact. Mm -hmm. And it opens quick and lock up securely. It's a great blade for those bigger, heavier cuts poking through while you still yep. get that nice And it still too. retain that angle between the handle and the blade. So yeah. when you hold that handle, the, the edge naturally aligns to whatever you're cutting. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. It's a good size. Feels good Absolutely. in the hand there. Yeah. Get some big work done with that. And following up on that, 
our next is the Makarta Handle River Wolf. Now the River Wolf has always been a limited edition. Um, so for everybody who you know, didn't, chance to, didn't have a chance to get a limited edition, we're bringing you the unlimited <laughs> River Wolf. Makarta Handle, S35 VM blade to give you the premium cutting edge, mm -hmm. a full one piece titanium clip, which will be ambidextrous. Nice. A liner lock. Uh, the production, sorry, the no, production no will be full size, uh, just like the regular River Wolf. Yeah. The prototype was the mid size, but that has been scrapped in, uh, in response to the popular request that they want a full size. Sure. So everyone will be getting a full size Makarta one. Very cool. So nice, I like the linen on that. Yes. Or no, is that canvas actually? Uh, that's actually burlap. Wow. A little bit too burlap, but it's, it's more finer. It's very fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that looks cool. Of course, you're going to get the slightly bigger size of the River Wolf. John Demko design. John Demko course. design. Yeah. Very cool. And even though it's a prototype, it still flips great. <laughs> Absolutely. We're trying to give you the best of yeah. all the all the prototype we make. Um, what price uh, range are you shooting for on this uh, one? We're aiming for about 175 to 180 on the Makarta, uh, compared with about the $300, $300 on the limited edition. Nice, so, nice. Yep, so you're getting something that uh, well, I, we think of it as this way, is that this is the shell horse, and this is the workhorse. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> both have different places, but both fit equally well. Nice. Uh, moving onward, we have our new Terra Mondi, the limited edition. The first I want to present to you is based on uh, Dirk Pinkerton's warning. The warning has been a venerable uh, model in many years, uh, but we wanted to upgrade it. So what it did was we added a button lock to it, the pivot button lock. Right. And it's color blue, so you always know which one is the lock. <laughs> Now push down on it and it closes. You can either use the flipper to pop it open or you can hold down the button and flick it open. We call this one the warning button. The warning button. Yeah, when you push <laughs> the warning button, something bad is going to happen. Because the, the, the pattern was the warning originally, right? Absolutely. So you have the warning button. That's, that's cool. It's a good little feel. Man, it's, it's only three fingers that I get my handle on, or my, my, yeah, three fingers of my hand that I fit on there. But it's solid, man. Yep. Yeah. All right, I got to try it. Super yep, easy. Super absolutely. Easy. Doesn't even take getting used to. That's nice. So this will be the same as the limited edition. You would receive the Terramondi box. Waterproof, shockproof, dropproof, dustproof, everything proof. You'll receive the certificate of authenticity with Dirk's signature. And remember, Dirk, uh, Dirk will be getting a hand cramp after signing all that many cards. <laughs> so please. Comfort him by purchasing this knife. <laughs> nice. I love, always love seeing those finger safe locks too. Keeps Absolutely. your fingers out of the way. Always appreciate be that. And be clip as well. Nice, nice. And that's great too because lefties are going to have no problem. Absolutely. Using that. It's one of the things about button locks that is naturally ambidextrous. Yeah. So this will work great for both right hand and left hand people. Very nice. All right. Our next one is a little bit unusual. We I call say. <laughs> <laughs> we call this the pneumatic actuator. It has a bit of a steampunk design element mm -hmm. to it with a black and gold uh, color theme to give you that little gentleman's tuck steel knife with a bit of a gadgetry factor. Mm -hmm. The lock bar is on top of the knife, so lift it up and the knife close, open and closes. As it opens and closes, you can see the piston move in and out of the knife. Yeah. So to open this, imagine yourself in a scar launch, sitting on a couch, <laughs> smoking a scar or drinking a bottle of wine, <laughs> or a cup of wine rather, you know, or a bottle of wine. I mean, case. bottle yeah. if you want, you know. <laughs> Open it by placing your thumb on the stud and putting your index finger on the flipper and talk about dominating the world. <laughs> yeah, because if you, you were showing me earlier, if you don't do that, if you just try to use it like a conventional flipper. Yeah, the piston move movement will, right. will stop at your finger and that will stop the knife from deployment. Right. But yeah, put your thumb up there and there's actually a little bit of like kick to it in a way yep. because of the ramps, I guess. Absolutely. Because of the spring. See, I haven't gotten the hang of it yet. <laughs> get a little practice. We'll, uh, we'll hopefully put out a little YouTube video when mm -hmm. we release this to make sure that everybody understands how yeah. this operates. That's neat. That's real fun. Cool. Yeah. The next are some of the updates to the Beyond EDC line we're making. The Gara, which has been very popular that is sold out, uh, has received a new handle color, a black Macarta. Easily open with a thumb groove, locks up tight with a talon blade, give you plenty of cutting power. And I'm sure that reverse flicks really nicely too. I won't embarrass myself, but yes, it does. I'll, I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. I'm, I'm used to embarrassing myself on video, so. 
worked well. I, I am yeah, it's, there's a nice solid, yes. solid ramp. We actually made the, the groove a little bit rougher so that your finger can get a little bit purchased yeah. for that flicking yeah. motion. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Go, go to town on a big pile of cardboard with a blade like that. That would be fantastic. So next is a geofolder by Nick Piat. And this is his first design, if you can believe that. I mean, it came out really, really well. Yeah. So you have a choice of either the thumb hole opening or a front flipper opening. And Nick, do you want to show us how you open this knife? <laughs> so we have the designer right over here off camera, actually. <laughs> Yep. yep, and none of which I do really well. So that's why, <laughs> Nick, you're going to show us. That's why you're Excellent. here, good buddy. <laughs> Excellent. So buy this, practice, and impress your friends like he just did. Um, so what are the uh, materials we're talking about on this We one? got a G10, a mm -hmm. dual color G10, and we got VG10 on the scale, uh, on the steel. Mm -hmm. It will mm -hmm. be an ambidextrous clip as well. So Price here, range on that one? Uh, Price range on this one, I believe it is about uh, $80 MSRP. Not too bad. Yeah. yeah. So a little less than that when it... It's the knife center website, yeah. probably, yeah. Cool. Here we have the dash. It's our first Kento model. You have a G10, you have D2, you have a thumb stud opening and a flipper. You have a very low riding clip with a linear hole at the end of the, uh, end of the handle. Pops open, mm -hmm. locks up tight. Uh, this will be about $70. Okay, yeah. 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 There's a nice little bit of weight to that. It's kind of got some Absolutely, heft. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a solid worker for sure. Yeah, yeah something reliable, it feels like. Uh, I believe this is also part of the, uh, so we're bringing us three D2 G10 models this year. This is the Sirocco, the Hot Desert Wind. Mm -hmm. It'll be available in multiple uh, handle colors as all these G10 will be. This is the natural G10 with a bit of translucent. It's getting a very low riding clip. It almost will disappear into your pocket. Mm -hmm. So flipping open with a thumb stud, uh, with a thumb hole, it will be equally quick and it'll lock out real tight. And it's a mid side, so it fits really nice in your hand. And yep. Yeah. Yep. Locks it does quite all well. the uh, little knife with big cutting power. Yeah. I mean, there's a little little extra th thickness to the spine to kind of back that up, Absolutely. back that muscle up a little bit too. Cool. Yep. Now, for the guys who want a big knife, here it is, the Fortress. <laughs> it is a chunky, thick G10 knife, a G10 handle with D2 blade. You also receive ambidextrous clip right here, left and right. Locked up tight with, a, with an enormous stuck sound. Had a good sound to it. Now, put in your hand, put your, put your, hand, uh, put your thumb on the ramp, and this is a knife with power. Indeed. Indeed. And should be relatively affordable, right, with this yes, these materials? Yes, it's about $60. Oh, wow. Yep. Even, more, yep. even better than I thought. Our Beyond EDC line, uh, pretty much, I believe, 99% of it are under $100 mm -hmm. for those work knife. Uh, it's a work knife and it's a workhorse. I uh, that... <laughs> There's just a little bit there. I wanted to see if I could do it. <laughs> yeah, definitely thumb opens easily enough, though. Yep. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of knife for that kind of money. Yep. Excellent. One last knife before we move into the the actual Beyond EDC gadgets. This is our Motive. Mm. It is our first injection motor handle knife. So FRA handle, you have an ambidextrous clip. So it's right gonna here. have two clips in the in the package? Yes, it's curved it will, like that? because it's curved, yeah. absolutely. You have a D2 blade that's in this harpoon blade shape. So harpoon cutlass. Yeah, very, very cutlassy. Yeah, yep. cool. You can open it with a flipper right here or you can open it with a thumb stud right there. So flip it open, it locks up tight, and it, it hugs your hand naturally. Yeah. Give it a shot. I can already see something I like about this handle that you don't see too much on, on folders, is the way this kicks down, you can really choke back on it. Yes. It's not, it's not gonna be a chopper, but if you need a little extra reach, you're trying to get into something, keep your hands away from whatever you're cutting, yep. that's a real nice... Reach out and touch somebody. Exactly. Oh, well, something. Something. We don't advocate touching somebody with your knives, really. <laughs> so this one really will cool. be the real workhorse, and we wanted to, I guess, bring back to my high school days that I can buy a knife with a week's allowance right. and have it be a good knife. So this knife has an MSRP of $46. Wow. So you, we want to make sure you get a lot of knife for that price. Yeah. And if you want to get a new knife or you're new to the knife world, Get this one, use it, abuse it, 
see what a knife is all about, and if you break it, go get another one. There you go. <laughs> Absolutely. Or fig figure out what you like, and you can start exploring all the other stuff. Too. We do have the, uh, you know, higher price knives here, ready for you to explore. <laughs> all right. So let's move into the, the what's mightier than the sword, the pen. <laughs> so this one is a short and stubby pivot, uh, piston bolt action, action. Yeah, yep. bolt action knife. Uh, bolt I've seen that so many times. Bolt action pen. The, the amount of times I've called pens and flashlights knives on this channel happens so often. <laughs> you have a flat top here, mm -hmm. so you can apply power with your with your thumb if, should you need it. And there's a very, very low riding clip. You can see it goes all the way to the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a nice shape to it, actually. It looks very premium. So this is the titanium version. We also plan on releasing a brass version later on in the year. Cool, a little more weight to it. A little more yeah. fist load. A little more fist load, exactly. That sounds interesting. Nice. I'm oh, giving away good. all the dark corner of my mind. <laughs> it's not a pen, it's a weapon, no. <laughs> Here is a fountain pen. And, and this is, I'm really excited about this because I, I enjoy a fountain pen actually, so. What makes it tactical is the tungsten carbide glass breaker. And here's a flat, uh, flat point at the tip. Mm -hmm. So you can really put some power into that punch. Here is the body of the fountain pit with a fine point nib. If I you, love the milling on that, that's so nice. If you open it up, you can see that there is a converter already. Mm -hmm. it's, this, is all in, this is included. However, if you, want, you don't have an ink bottle and you want to use the ink cartridge for easy access, you can get the fiber castell or any type of European uh, short cartridges and it plugs in and use like a dream. Nice. Nice. I'm very, I'm. A little too excited by this, quite honestly, yeah. Actually, for those of you who want to know, our good buddy Seth, who runs the uh, social media, is also a bit of a fountain pen guy, too. And we're both very, very enamored of this right now. Yeah, these will come in multiple colors, uh, you know, to fit your daily dress. Yeah. I mean, it's so fine. You can barely even see the seam where it screws apart. When you get it back together, so precise. Thank I you. like that. Excellent. Yeah. All right, so last but not least, Something that's also very fun looking here. It's a pair of titanium nunchucks. <laughs> but I, there's more than that, though. We can do this and uh, try not to hurt ourselves. <laughs> I'm going to stand a little further away from this. <laughs> <laughs> the next part is safe. The next part is safe. <laughs> this will also extend. Each mm -hmm. will extend. And you can use them as is. It's a pair of chopsticks. Or you can take the cap off. So you untie yourself from the lanyard mm -hmm. and become a pair of more ordinary or uh, regular chopsticks. Yeah, not quite ordinary, but... Not quite ordinary. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And because they are bolt action, if you touch this part, it automatically retracts. That's fun. Chopsticks, you know, it being one of the tools, you can take it with you almost anywhere. Well, you could put it in a shirt pocket. Exactly. Even. Yeah. So they're about the same length. Mm -hmm. uh, let me do this. There we go. Yeah. So if you disappears down here, now I got both my writing instrument and eating instrument all together. All right there. That is fun, man. I re <laughs> These are just making me smile, man. That's yeah. really cool. Some of the fun things, because you have knives for, for so much. You, our name is Beyond EDC. Right. You're going beyond that. We're giving you a little pen, little chopsticks, mm -hmm. and we also call the, uh, the nonstick. Nunchuck chopstick. Yeah, the nunsticks. Yep, the nunsticks. Yeah. Um, do we have what are prices you're targeting for these pens and for the for the nunsticks? The nunsticks actually have the MSRP of about eighty dollars. Okay. And they're too full bad. titanium. For full titanium, yep. yeah. They'll come in color choices of blue, uh, natural tie, and mirror polish. The titanium version of this um, bolt action pen will be about one hundred fifteen dollars, and the brass will be about one hundred five. Very cool. And these will be about 120 titanium. Yep. Yep. For I'm assuming with the a standard gray titanium, with not with the fancier. Gray, yes. Yeah. The Very fancier cool. ones we can do on order, uh, or we'll probably produce a limited amount. Uh, that probably add about uh, about 20 to 30 dollars to the MSRP. Not too bad. Yeah. Not too bad. Awesome. Well, that's uh, what we've got to look at today for the Beyond EDC knives and gear. We can call them all knives. It's fine. Um, David, thank you so much for, for showing us this stuff. It all thank looks really good. Thank you for really the opportunity. Good. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. This. Absolutely. Yeah. It's my pleasure. 
Uh, folks, check out the links in the description to take you over to our Beyond EDC page on the Knife Center, where this stuff should be showing up uh, over the next weeks and months. And you can check out what we do have available right now there, of course, as well. Keep sticking around for more SHOT Show coverage. Thanks for watching. Thank you.